Hello Slicksters, we have today the fabulous household showing us the perfume and cologne mod. So without any further ado, let's get into that introduction so I can show you the mod. Hello Slicksters, there are three parts to the perfume slash cologne mod. I am going to start off with the decor with the purpose, functional perfume and cologne. Alright, so if we go down, it's going to show us a few pictures. These, might I remind you, just by looking at it, I can tell that they are in the game perfumes that we already have. They're just functional now. Use the regular perfume, I'm guessing. Use cologne. Use cologne. This, this arrangement has candles, a flower, that's nice. All right, and here's an emotion note. It says, smelling good from using perfume. Using perfume or cologne will leave you smelling nice and feeling confident. Yes, it does, honey. Only, really, in real life, I really love my body oil. Like, the body oil is fantastic. All right, we got the smelling good from using cologne. Same thing, only cologne. Alluring from using perfume. Got a hot date? Well, if not, you might get one now. <laughs> Too much from using the perfume. Eliza may have overdone it a bit on the scent. Now they're just going to have to smell like this for a while. And the worst thing about it is people can probably smell that too. All right, so if we scroll down, we will see the creator of this mod is Ilex. We have seen Ilex before in my mod reviews. A great creator. Thank you very much. If we come down, it says, this mod adds functionality to some perfume type objects, allowing Sims to use them to gain a small, confident, or flirty buff. Unlike functional shower supplies, your Sim does not need to be already doing something to use the object. They'll just walk up and do an animation. And I also already have a video on the functional shower supplies, so check that out in the seven small mods, I believe that's what it's called, in my videos. Alright, so if we go down, it's going to tell us all of the override EA items. I'm going to let you read those on your own, but just looking over them real quick, I can see perfume and cologne is a part of the name for the most part. So it's having me thinking that if you search up perfume or cologne, you're going to find it. Along this, it tells us all of the updates that has been given. This was updated on June the 8th. That's not too far from now. So yeah. I would say it's still somewhat safe. We're going to try it out. But like I told you, anytime you're adding mods into your game, please, please, please place them into a separate folder and then add that folder into your mods folder. But don't just add these mods into your folder because you don't know if they're good or bad. So add them into a separate folder and then put them into your mods folder. And if something's wrong, it's an easy grab out and fix. All right, moving down. Future plans. If you know of an item I missed, let me know. Make perfume and cologne affect Sims around the one wearing them. Okay, so that's their future plans for their mod. So I guess it doesn't affect the people around them. But it's good to have that for yourself. I mean, in real life, you like to smell good and so on. Also, when you are downloading this mod, you're going to hit the download button. We're going to come down. It says, by pack contains a tuning file and one file per pack. You can pick and choose the packs you have and want. I do not have the vintage glamour stuff, so I'm not going to pick this add-on. And I do not have all of the packs, so I am going to go with the first option. And as far as the tuning file is required, is speaking the tuning file of the packs that you have so if you have a pack it's going to come in the tuning file in the game so don't worry about it so we're going to go with the first one and download all right it's downloaded and as you can see it is a zip file in order to do zip files you have to download winrar i believe i'm going to show you that at the end of these mods so don't worry i'll tell you all about winrar in case you're new to downloading mods and we're going to move on to the second mod the second mod I would like to show you all is the perfumery mod. This mod makes it that you can make perfume at home. 
This is so cool. All right, so we're gonna click on the picture and look through it. As you can see, if you hit the oven and click perfume, it's gonna show you all of the different perfumes that you can make. And if we look down here, it tells us there is three skill books. We can see her, you know, cooking up some perfume, some smell goods. And last but not least, you can wear the scents with useful effects that also affects the sims around you as they smell it. So with all of these mods together, the sims around you will be affected you know some of them have that some of them don't but all together is going to come together that your the sims around will be affected we're gonna move down the creator of this mod is simsonian library it tells us there are 14 different scents that each different scent affects on moods it tells us that the perfumery adds the perfumery skill that enables your sims to make functional perfume from flowers Okay, so it says you make perfume on your stove and, and each recipe requires six flowers of a particular type. The bottles of perfume you make each hold six doses of scent. You can remove a scent and it affects by bathing or swimming. At perfumery level two, you can analyze scent on flower arrangement. Okay, the only scent you can make at first is deodorant from snowdrop. Once you gain your perfumery skill, you will learn to make one to two new scents every level. With each level, the scent value goes up and the effect tends to be more pronounced. That's fun. So the better you get, the more it smells, people get affected, I like that. All right, down here it's gonna tell us all of the scent recipes and I'm gonna take a few seconds to look over that with you. Round and round we go, losing self-control. All right, moving on down, it says the base value of each recipe is based on the cost of the flowers needed. The final value of the bottles of scent is affected by the quality of the final product, which is affected by perfumery skill and the mood of the scent making it as one would expect. Okay, so at perfumery skill level 7, you have a chance to create a masterwork. Once you reach level 10, you will earn the nose reward trait, which ensures that all of your scents are excellent quality and greatly increases your chances of creating a masterwork. Sounds great. Objects included. 14 different bottles of scent perfume display for retail sales and skill book. Listed down below is the name of the skill books. If we move down, it tells us the pack requirements. For this download, you need seasons and you need to have the outdoor retreat. If you do not have it, please don't add it to your game. It could crash and kill it. Okay, and when it comes to downloading this mod, we go to download, come down, and it's only one link. So we're gonna hit that. And once again, we got another zip file and on to our third mod. The third mod that I would like to show you all is created by Around the Sims 4. I believe that this is the name of the creator because I couldn't find a creator name anywhere else so I'm believing that Around the Sims 4 is the creator. This mod is Functional Perfume Bottles. Now if we take a look at the picture a little closer, we can tell that these bottles are not in-game bottles. These are CC bottles and they are imitations of actual perfumes that we wear in real life. So, we are going to take a look. When we come down, we can see the pancake household, and they are showing us the animations of the perfume. So, it looks like he's actually throwing water on himself. But, yeah. All right. And right here, we can also see her throwing water on herself. And if we move down, we see that in order for this mod to work, you must first download the perfume mod. So, let's do that okay another zip file we have downloaded the perfume mod and if we move down we have chanel perfume why not i'm going to get that um we have lacoste okay i like that lolo cacharel i hope i'm saying that right and if i'm not correction is very open i want to make sure i'm fair to my men we have one million paco rabane we have the jean paul gaultier for men and we have the Jean Paul Gaultier for women. 
I think that's all that I personally want. But as you can see, it's very open for you to download it. If we move down, we have the Body Shop perfume. And there's some more perfumes and colognes that you can choose from. I'm personally not going to do those. I'm just going to deal with these. And all of these perfumes and this mod was updated July the 30th. Now, as I told you before, you're taking a chance with any mod. So let's just take the chance, see what happens. You have a separate folder for this. So for times such as the game doesn't want to respond because of these mods, so we take some out of that folder. Okay, Slicksters, in addition, I wanted to show you how I download WinRAR as well before I show you all of the extracting of the folders and all of that. So without any further ado, I am going to click download WinRAR. Now you can buy WinRAR as well and get probably like a better experience with WinRAR. But because I only download things for mods, I'm just going to download WinRAR 32-bit version. Okay, and we're going to come down to the bottom, download WinRAR. Your download should begin. Here's mine right here. All right, now, because I already have WinRAR, of course, I'm not going to go through with it. Right here, it tells us you'll click it, you'll click yes, you'll install, you'll hit OK, and then you have WinRAR, okay? And when you download these mods, it will show up as a box with a belt on it. That's how you know that you have the file in the correct manner. Now, I'm going to move on to showing you how it looks when you're in file extracting. Okay, so right here I have my downloads folder, and right here I have my mods folder. When you are inside of your mods folder, right click, we're going to click new, new folder, and we're going to add the name perfume folder. And this is just in case something goes wrong, we can easily get back to it. We open up the perfume folder. And we are going to bring over, except for WinRAR, as far as your WinRAR, I would just, after downloading it and clicking the download and, you know, getting it all set up, you can delete this WinRAR. Anyway, let's take all of these, put them into the folder. We're going to extract them. Okay, everything is extracted. While you have all the zip files still highlighted, we're gonna right click that, delete. All of those are gone. Okay, and we are just looking. Any script files that you have can only be one folder deep. So this is only one folder deep. It's fine. We're gonna go in here. Here's another script file. This cannot be two folders deep. So I'm gonna bring it over here to the downloads folder only so I can go as far as the perfume folder, which is one folder deep. Bring that back. And that is how it looks when everything is done and how it should be. Sims 4, mods folder, perfume folder, everything we downloaded. And so now we are gonna move on to me showing you how this looks in game. All right, Slicksters. Okay, Slicksters. So introducing the ladies that we have today, there's Arabella Fabulous, Reese Wash, which we know that she is Khalil Yang's girlfriend in the Have Mercy series, and Callie Fabulous. All right, so why don't we get these ladies inside and get some perfume and cologne smells running. Gorbani Shorg, Zimze Jaws. Honey, Callie done decided she gonna cook her something to eat. She said, I can't do no my review on an empty stomach. I don't give a damn. Okay. So we are going to have Callie come over and start earning a skill for perfumery. Okay. So now that we are into purchase books, we're going to scroll down. Once we scroll down, we can see perfume volume one, volume two, and volume three. Right now, she has no level in it, so we are just going to start with Perfumery Volume 1. Callie has grabbed her book, and we are now reading the Volume 1 of the Perfumery book. And she is just reading along. Alright, and we just got our notification 
that she has at least the idea through her head, which is what we want. And then we, of course, are going to skip it because this is a mod review. So if we read the notification, it hmm. says Callie can now make focusing and playful sense. So we are going to take her level one and uh, hmm. we're going to cheat it because I'm going to be showing you all two perfumes that we can make. So we're going to cheat it to a level two. Ta -da! All right. Now that we are at a level two, we are going to come on over to the computer and buy ourselves some flowers. Now, we are going to go shopping. Let's order. Okay, so if you wanted to also purchase these, I found an easier way. You don't even have to go to the build and buy. You can come on to the computer, click order, purchase seeds. But instead, right now, I want to... More choices and we are gonna purchase gifts once we get into the purchase gifts we're gonna scroll on down and as you saw over the web with this mod there's different scents to different skills now for skill level one we are going to choose to do the focusing scent and that required six bluebells so let's see if hopefully we can find six bluebells flowers so scrolling through we actually don't have any blue bells available so i'm gonna buy this package and let's hope that maybe a blue bell is in there we actually need six blue bells so let's buy six of these and we need six tulips we have a tulip right here so let's just buy six of them okay and all together we are spending 642 dollars so we have our seeds. I'm going to open up the packet and let's hope that we have blue bells in order to make the focus and scent. If not, I'll just show you all the happy scent with skill two that required six tulips. But I got hope. We are going to take a break on the book and we're going to start opening some seed packets. Girl, it's time to move on. Let's go. Now that we have gotten her skill up and we have some, you know, flowers in our inventory, we're going to open up these packets. So if we look into her inventory, we are given a lot of different kinds of flowers. The best part about us getting flowers is that a lot that we get from the packet are the necessities that we need to make the perfume. For the first scent I want to show you that I'm going to make, it is called the focusing scent. It requires six bluebells. Okay, so if we go right here, we can see that by opening the packets, we have 16 bluebells. So we're going to go over to the stove. Not for these reasons to eat. Okay, so once we get into the kitchen, we're going to click on the stove. Okay, so once we click on the stove, we're going to click perfume. So it tells us that we can make the focus scent which requires six bluebells and it also requires you to have the skill level one let's get started on this shall we she wanted to sit over there and talk to arabella but that's not a part of our plans so let's get over here and see what it looks like while she's cooking the perfume okay you all so after finishing making her last perfume, she took a shower, you know, got all good and well. So now we are going to try on the perfume that she just made, which to remind you, we made the focus in scent that required six bluebells and a skill level one. So let's try it on. All right, and let's get Callie off of that computer and get her into the kitchen to try on this perfume. Oh, wow. Okay, so from what I can see, you can just click on the scent and hit apply scent and she'll just put it on wherever she is. Okay, so let's go right here. Let's bring her to the kitchen. That's cool. So you can have the scent in your bedroom and still apply it where you are. I guess you can pretend that you have like dabs in your, you know, inventory. I mean, it's more realistic if you just put it in your inventory. But it's cool that you can put it on you and it not be in your inventory. Okay, so we're going to click this. And hit apply scent. That is so a thumbnail. Okay, and we are gonna watch her put this perfume on. Okay. <laughs> she is loving it. Okay. 
Now, let's get into the kitchen. And we are going to make the happy scent, which requires the skill level two. And it also requires six tulips, which we got earlier. So we're going to click on the stove, perfume. And we are going to do the happy scent. What? What? Okay, what happened? You got naked and don't want to do this? Okay. <laughs> That's X looks in the X for you. That's what you get. Okay, let's put some clothes on. Why don't we? So we have her standing here mixing the perfume up. Okay, she put the tulips in. We saw her pull up the tulips in. Okay. I like this mod you guys can make. Okay, and right out of the pot, she grabbed the perfume. All right, now with this one, we're going to put it in her inventory. And we're going to watch her as she puts it on. Okay, so once again, we got the perfume and she's put it on. She's smelling herself. She likes the smell. But we can see that after putting on the perfume, we have a feeling happy from smelling a scent. The scent makes you feel like the sun just came out from behind a cloud. Woo! I want some perfume that make me feel like that. Good Lord. Honey, you feel like you're coming from behind a cloud? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so moving on to the next mod, Arabella is going to show us the functional perfume bottles. Which, remember, it's just bottles that we already had in the game. So she's going to come inside of her bedroom, over to the dresser. And I got perfume right here and cologne right here. There's no man in the house, but for this mod, it's not needed. We can just get Arabella to try on the perfume and the cologne. Sample perfume. Okay, so sample the perfume and use the cologne. Acquire the perfumery skill. Okay. She acquired the perfumery skill just by trying the perfume. And let's see what it says. Romantically inspired. Something about that smell just puts you in the mood. Okay. <laughs> she says she's hot and bothered. Hot and bothered. Okay, she's putting on the cologne. Yes. Smelling good from using cologne. Using perfume or cologne will leave you smelling nice and feeling confident. Just like we read on the web. Hey, she's feeling flirty. Okay, we should send her outside, honey. Go explore. Do whatever you want. And last but not least, Slicksters, Reese is going to be showing us the functional perfume bottles by John Paul Gautif for men and women. And she's going to try out both of them for us. All right, so we're going to try out the ladies first. Okay, so it tells you to apply. It says the whole name of the perfume. John Paul got there, fresh and flirty. Okay, so we're gonna try that one on. And right after, we're gonna try the male perfume on. Mm. Oh, so she puts it on like an oil, just like we saw, like water on them. And after you use it, as you can see, it disappears. Okay, we're gonna have her put the male one on now too. Mm. And she's rubbing it on her as like oil. And if we come down to her fillings, it tells us flirty by potion from potion. Woo, that potion really makes a sim feel flirty. Okay. So for both the male and the female, you get flirty by potion. So the name brand perfumes and colognes are more like an oil or a potion. They're not like a perfume bottle spray. But overall, I would say that we had a great time together, Slicksters. And I just want to thank you for joining me for this mod review, perfume slash cologne mods. And until next time, Slicksters, 